That brings my total to 298 wins in 298 games. Damn it! This is a waste of time. You're unbeatable. Not if my opponent's intellect surpasses my processing speed. Uh-huh. And how fast is that? My processing speed is roughly 1 QIPS. Q... I... What? Stop using words people don't know! I mean, a quadrillion instructions per second, Doctor. Sounds like you're just trying to make fun of me. Ow! Hey! Grandpa! Stop struggling! Let go! I don't need a doctor. You know who I am? Damn stubborn old man. Hey, what's with all the noise? Go fight somewhere else. Hey, moron. This old fart's your patient. Now go examine him. You mean him? He looks pretty spry. Why don't we just let him leave? He was passed out on his floor. Now shut up and examine him. This is absurd. I don't have time for this. Hold up a minute. What now? Tell me, how long has your leg been shaking like that? Huh? My, my leg? What are you talking about? Maria, get a bed ready for him. We're gonna need him overnight. You got it. In your face. What? A moment ago you said I could leave. Hey, are you even listening to me? Hey! What's going on? Don't you know who I am, you quack? Hey, listen Damn. to me! Always get stuck with the difficult ones. So, Roni. Who in the heck is that crazy old man? He is Jacob Tillman, Assistant Secretary of the HHS, Doctor. Assistant Secretary? Politician, huh? No, Doctor. He is suffering from an ailment of some sort. Yeah, yeah. Too bad we can't pick our patients, huh? Oh well. Might as well go take a look. Shall we? Now, how are you feeling? Have you been eating? Ha! You fool! How dare you force me into this hospital? Ugh, oh, what a serious pain in the... Let's begin the exam, Roni. Are you ready? Yes, Doctor. Whenever you are ready. Well then. Start with you telling me about the symptoms you're experiencing. I'm not saying anything, you jack and ape. So that's how it's gonna be. Well, go right on ahead if you don't want to ever be discharged from this hospital. You utter bastard. Fine, ask your questions. Huh, I didn't ask to be examined. Yes, I collapsed. But I simply wasn't feeling well. I'm not as young as I used to be, and I've been under quite a lot of stress. There's so much to be done, and you're not helping. Quit wasting my time and issue my release. <sighs> oh my god. Come on. never gonna give up, are you? Being stuck in this stinking examination room is killing my appetite. Honestly, I haven't eaten much, but I feel queasy and bloated. Hmm. He's been feeling bloated, huh? That's not to say he isn't already a bit on the junky side. Roni, 
Order up a CT scan. Oh, and uh, warn the lab guys they may need a forklift to get them onto the table. I will send the request at once. Also, I may use a slightly different wording for that second part. Hey, you! Huh? What's wrong now? You don't need to examine me. I refuse this treatment. Hey, if I don't look in your stomach, we'll never know what's wrong with you. There is no reason for this. If you think it's necessary, then prove it. Ugh, you're really getting on my nerves. Roni, ignore him and send in the request. I cannot, Doctor. All examinations require patient consent. Ugh, you're as stubborn as he is, you know that? Fine. So we just need to narrow down the diagnosis candidates and prove an exam is necessary, right? That is standard protocol, Doctor. New symptom observed. Bloated abdomen. So what? Doesn't matter. Just sign your little forms and discharge me. Looking at your stupid face makes me even more nauseous. He said my face makes him feel even more nauseous. That means he was already feeling nauseous before he came here. How's that for deduction, Roni? Make a note of it. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Nausea. I didn't ask to be examined. Yes, I collapsed. But I simply wasn't feeling well. I'm not as young as I used to be, and I've been under quite a lot of stress. Not feeling well, huh? So, he was aware he had a problem all along. This guy's a real nutcase. Doctor, the symptoms are too vague. Please find more precise symptoms. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's worse. This old guy? Robot. There's so much to be done, and you're not helping. Quit wasting my time and issue my. Damn it! You're never being stuck in this stinking examination room is killing my. Hmm. So his appetite's been decreasing. Maybe he's been trying some of the food here. Roni, I want you to make a note of the patient's appetite. Also, jot down that the hospital food sucks. You must remain professional, doctor. New symptom observed. Lack of appetite. Right. Professional. One day, I'd love to hear all about that. Honestly, I haven't eaten much, but... So what? Doesn't matter looking at your stupid. Platelet count. Hmm. It seems unusually low. Roni, add that to his records. 
Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Low platelet count. Bilirubin level seems a bit high. Roni, make a record of that. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High total bilirubin level. Hold on. If his total bilirubin is this high, he should have jaundice in the whites of his eyes. Correct, Doctor. But the status of the patient's eyeballs cannot be confirmed. Yeah, that's the problem. Geezer's eyes are too squinty for me to examine. And somehow, I doubt he'll cooperate with us and let me take a look. Doctor, perhaps you could try angering the patient. Huh? What good will that do? I've noticed that Chief Patel's eyes are frequently wide open when conversing with you. It is a physiological response for humans to open their eyes wider when they are angry. You're pretty observant, aren't you? All right, I don't know that I like the example you gave, but let's try your tactic. Shouldn't be too hard. A few blows at his pride, that should do it. Yep, his AST level is rather high. Roni, record the symptom. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. High AST level. He has a pretty elevated ALT level. Roni, make a note of that. Understood, Doctor. New... Interesting. His cholesterol level is unusually low. Roni, make a note of that too. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Low total cholesterol. wasn't feeling well. Not feeling well. Doctor. Yeah, yeah. I'm not as young as I used to be, and I've been under... Hmm. A lot of stress, huh? I think we can assume he's been getting tired easily. Heck, serves him right. I'm exhausted just having to deal with him. Isn't that so, Roni? I do not share your pain, Doctor. New symptom observed. Gets tired easily. Ah, you're so serious all the time. You know, you should loosen some bolts and relax. There's so much to be done, and you're not helping. Quit wasting my...
being stuck in this... Honestly, I haven't eaten much, but I feel queasy. So what? Doesn't matter. Looking at your stupid... are still shaking. That's definitely worth making a note of, Roni. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Shaking legs. the need for a CT exam. We should compare our symptoms to the possible illness candidates. If the likely candidates require a CT scan to be identified, there is ample evidence to have one taken. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. Guess you're pretty useful sometimes. Did you just impart genuine praise on me, Doctor? Hey, I give credit where it's due, you know? Now let's get to work.
I'd say the patient's physique is pretty typical for a man his age. But considering how conceited he is, it may be just the thing to anger him. Now, let me see your stomach. Come on, lift up your clothing. Never! I don't have any obligation to cooperate. Oh, I get it. You're shy about your gut, huh? Too many steak dinners? Don't be ashamed. I'm not someone to judge a patient. No matter how fat they are. You, you son of a bitch! You can't talk to me like that. Ooh, you're getting angry, huh? Great, now stay just like that. I don't need your jokes. How dare you insult me? I want my lawyer! All right, maybe I went a little far, but that's fine. Now's my chance to check his eyes. Yep, discoloration in the whites of his eyes. Looks like jaundice. Roni, mark it down. Understood, Doctor. New symptom observed. Jaundice. Thank you. 